Garner Police is the latest local department teaming up with the Ring doorbell cameras to keep communities safe. But not everyone is on board with the partnerships similar to this. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer live tonight in Garner, digging deeper into both sides of this story. Zach. Well, Angela Marius, one U.S. senator is bringing up privacy concerns around these partnerships with police and the company Ring. But Garner Police told us today about this new partnership with Ring that they've had two success stories related to breaking cases with people sharing video. Now, they believe it's a new way to involve people and help solve crimes. It's a deterrent. Daniel Rodriguez is serious when it comes to home security, having 19 cameras around his property, including his doorbell camera. I got it set at its highest level of sensitivity, so you could be over across the street having a conversation and I can actually hear you. There have been some break-ins uh, on this street and around the area. For Damon McWalters, his ring doorbell camera like this gives him peace of mind living in Sutton Springs. Um, it gives us a sense of security. You can monitor folks who are around your house. But this week, Garner Police is taking on a new partnership with the company's Neighbors app, allowing folks with any camera to upload video of suspicious activity like this to share with neighbors and law enforcement. As what make might have taken hours to find in the past, we can now simply request with the click of a button in terms of who can help us potentially solve crime. Police can also ask people to share information if they're investigating a crime. The residents of the community, we geofence it and draw a map. Um, and they may not be aware that cars were broken into, for example, in their neighborhood, but yet we'll send out a request. Partnerships like this are drawing concerns. In a letter to Amazon, Massachusetts Senator Edward Markey wrote the nature of these partnerships, quote, raise serious privacy and civil liberties concerns. Um, I'm comfortable that I don't have a concern with that for us. And every user has to agree to share their video with us. Both McWalters and Rodriguez are for the idea. I think that will help deter it. We, we moved here to raise our families. And, you know, if we don't do our part, someone else is going to do a part. And Garner Police also told me through this partnership that they're not able to see any live video through cameras. Live in Garner, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.